There was a prophet named Samuel, and there was a king by the name of Saul, and also there was a young man by the name of David. Well, Brother Samuel, who was a prophet, who was a seer, meaning he had the oversight during the time of his jurisdiction, Amen. Uh, he died. Amen. But before he died, he gave prophecy to King Saul. That's right. How the Lord will depart from you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And of course the Lord departed from Saul because Saul was disobedient, hard-headed, and contrary. Amen. But there was a woman, Paul, or rather Saul, became desperate. 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 That's right. He needed some type of answer from God and he knew he wasn't getting none. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And so he decided to resort to supernatural methods. And then said Saul. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Give chapter and verse for this. First Samuel chapter 28 and we're at verse 7. And after we give that supernatural thing, I got another brother in mind by the name of Job. That's right. Yeah. See, can you, can you think of what I'm thinking about? Amen. Come on, brother, let's have it. First Samuel chapter 28 and at verse 7. Yeah. Then yeah. said Saul unto his servants. What? Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit. Familiar spirit. Familiar mm -hmm. spirit. A woman that dabble in spirits. That's right. All right. That I may go to her and inquire. I want to go in her. I want to go to her and inquire something. And his servant said to him, Behold, there is a woman that hath a familiar spirit and at Andor. And after we finish that, I want, as we get Job, some more coming to my mind, I want the book of Acts. Acts. There Amen. was another woman. That's right. And after we get Acts about the woman, follow the apostles, and I want the 19th chapter of Acts chapter. Uh, of the other supernatural. That's right. right. All right. And Saul disguised himself. I hope you get a belly full of this. Everybody all right? Amen. Don't go to sleep now. You stay woke longer than this in your false church. That's all right. right. Come on, let's have it. And Saul disguised himself and put on other raiment. Yeah. And he went and two men with him, and they came to the woman by night. All right. And he said, I pray thee, divine unto me by the familiar divine. spirit. Divine. In other words, work your craft. That's right. That's it. Divine unto me by, by, by the familiar spirit. By the spirits you socialize with. Right. The spirits that you deal with. That's right. And, and bring me him up whom I shall name unto thee. Yes, now remember, Saul was desperate. Right. And he needed some answers. That's right. He needed answers so bad that he wanted the woman to go talk to the spirit world. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because there was a prophet that was dead, but the spirit was alive. That's it. Right. Listen. And the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knowest what Saul hath done. Well, she was talking to King Saul, but she didn't know it. That's right. Because Saul disguised himself, mm -hmm. and she knew that Saul put out a proclamation, we're going to kill all these witchcraft workers. That's right. Come on, real quick. How we cut off those that have familiar for spirits and the wizards out of the land. Yes. Whereas then thou layest thou a snare for my life to cause me to die. Yes. And Saul swear to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord liveth, there shall no punishment happen to thee for this thing. All right. Then said the woman, Whom shall I bring up unto thee? Mister, who do you want me to conjure up? And he said, Bring me up Samuel. Bring me up Samuel. And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice. And what did she say? And the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? Hey, Saul. Why did you trick me? For thou art Saul. You are King Saul. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid. Don't be afraid. For what sawest thou? What did you see? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw gods ascending out of the earth. Meaning I saw spirits. Mm -hmm. I saw gods, meaning I saw spirits That's ascending right. out of the earth. And he said unto her, What form is he? What is he form a? is he? And she said, An old man cometh up. Old man. Now, let me give you some revelation. <laughs> when this body died, mm -hmm. the spirit that come out the body will look the age of the body that died That's right. when it come out. That's right. Because Saul, or rather Samuel, was old when he died. That's right. Spirit don't age. Amen. Mm. But to properly identify and for a scripture to be correct, we shall be known as we are known. That's right. If I die and stand before God, but when I stand before God, I appear as a five-year-old baby. <laughs> we won't be known as we are known. No. Because the real me is not what you're looking at. That's right. The real me is the unseen. The real me is the inner man, the soul. That's right. That's right. That's right. This is the clothing for the soul. That's right. Amen. And when the body died, the soul step out. Steps out. That's right. 
pulled off his clothes. That's right. That's right. That's right sir. And the clothes dropped, but the spirit remained in the presence of God. Right. Where is that? God fulfilled Amen. heaven and earth alone. Earth alone. Yes, God is everywhere. Amen. Amen. Everywhere, sir. Listen. And he said unto her, What form is he of? What form is he of? And she said, An old man cometh He's an up, old man. And he is covered with a mantle. He's covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived that it was Samuel. And? And he stood with his face to the ground and bowed himself. Yeah. And Samuel said to Saul. Now, here you have a spirit hmm. talking to a man. That's right. Someone said, Well, how can that be, Pastor Jenny? Didn't the scripture say the dead know nothing? That's talking about your body. Right. right. When your body died, it don't know nothing but the spirit, no planet. That's right. Huh? That's right. Listen. And Samuel said to Saul, why hast thou disquieted me? Why do you, why, why you conjure me up? Why you bothering me? To bring me up. To bring me up. And Saul answered, I am sore distressed for the Philistines make war against me. Yeah. And God has departed from me and answereth me no more. And? Neither by prophets nor by dream. All right. Therefore have I called thee that thou mayest make known unto me what I shall do. Why? Then said Samuel, wherefore then doest thou ask of me? Saul, what are you bothering me for? Seeing the Lord is the Departed from thee and has become thine enemy. The Lord become your enemy. Don't need to bother me. That's right. You know, what can I do? Brothers mm. and sisters, if God is against you, ain't nothing nobody can do for you. That's right. Huh? Amen. Nothing that a preacher nobody else can do for you if God turn on you. That's right. Listen. And the Lord hath done to him as he spake by me. Yeah. For the Lord hath rent the kingdom out of thine hand and given it to thy neighbor, even to David. Uh -huh. Because thou obeyedest not the voice of the Lord, nor executest his fierce wrath upon Amalek. Now listen. Therefore, Come on, son. therefore hath the Lord done this thing unto thee this day. Yeah. Moreover, the Lord, the Lord will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand now, of the Philistines. Now, here's Saul, listen, that prophecy mm. being given him by the spirit of Samuel. That's right. So I say, well, how can that be? He's dead. Prophecy is done by the spirit of God anyway. That's right. right. The prophet died. Right. The prophet died died that's right but the spirit of prophecy didn't die that's right that's right that's right it's like the messenger dies that's right but the message don't die don't die that's right so the prophet died that's right but the spirit of prophecy couldn't kill that. Could, oh, that's no. right. Listen. Moreover, the Lord will also deliver Israel Brother. with thee into Brother. the hand of the Philistines. And? and tomorrow shalt thou and thy sons be with me. Prophesied King Saul death. That's right. He said, what's going to happen the next day? And tomorrow, tomorrow shalt thou and thy sons be with me. That's one supernatural. Give me the book of Job real quick. Job chapter 4 and we'll begin at verse 12. Move fast. Now a thing was secretly brought to me. Uh-oh, a thing was secretly brought to me. And mine ear received a little thereof. My ear received a little thereof. In thoughts from the visions of the night when deep sleep falleth on me. What happened? Fear came upon me Fear and trembled. Fear came upon me and I trembled. Which made all my bones to shake. What happened? Then a spirit passed before my face. Here we have a, a supernatural experience. That's right. That's right. Supernatural. A spirit passed before my face. The hair of my flesh the stood up. The hair of my flesh stood up. It stood still. Right. The spirit that came to me stood still. But I could not discern the form thereof. I couldn't discern the form, the fashion, the shape, the similitude thereof. An image was, before, image my eyes. was before my eyes. There was silence. There was silence. And I heard a voice but saying, But then it began to talk. Shall mortal, Shall man, mortal be man be more, just, be than more God? just than God? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? You hear that? Amen. Supernatural, Supernatural experience. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's Amen. right. Notice the book of Acts of the Apostles. Acts chapter 16 and we're at verse 16. Yeah. And it came to pass as we went to prayer. As we went to prayer. A certain damsel possessed with the spirit. A certain woman possessed. Possessed with the spirit. See, the devil can tell truth. Yes, yes sir. That's right. On the beginning. But his motive is not the same motive of truth. That's, That's right. right. Amen. For the devil used scriptures to manipulate the simple who have no knowledge of the truth. That's right. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. 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 That's why I told you before, if the devil got Bibles, yes. the devil got churches, That's right. Amen. the devil got mosques, That's right. the devil got synagogues, Amen. the devil went in full religious business. That's, That's right. right. Every time God set up something, the devil's not far behind to imitate it. Amen. Listen. A certain damsel possessed with the spirit of divination possessed with us. the spirit of the divination of the devil. Amen. Now listen. Mm -hmm. Here's 
a woman possessed of the devil, that's right. hmm. and yet she going to tell the truth. That's right. Listen. Which brought a master's much gain by soothsaying. Yeah. The same followed Paul and us. Followed brother Paul and the other apostles. And cried saying, these Listen men. Listen now what the devil said out of this woman. These men are these the servants. These men are the servants. Of the most high God. Telling the truth. That's right. Yes, sir. But it wasn't the spirit of truth. That's right. That's right. For you have two spirits. Two spirits. Right. Brother John teaches us, hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Of error. Listen, why do you think Satan is called a serpent? A serpent. Oh, That's right. Not because this was a snake talking in the Garden of Eden. That's Snakes right. don't talk. That's right. No, sir. But God was describing the characteristics of Satan. That's right. That's right. Satan. If you look at a serpent, mm -hmm. <laughs> he wraps around his prey and he don't swallow his prey starting from the bottom. No, no. no sir, that you might. The first part of the prey that's being digested is the head. That's, that's right. right. What is the first thing in us that's attacked by the devil? Mm -hmm. Your mind. mind. Amen. For a person's mind is the foundation of their existence. And if the mind is moved, their stability is offset. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. 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 So Satan bears the title serpent. Mm -hmm. Well, look at a snake. That's right. You look at a snake's tongue. <laughs> one. It's one within. Right. That's right. But when it come up at the end, it's split. It's split. That's right. Double times. So. That's right. Ooh. Why is it split? Because Satan brings about confusion. That's right. Leading you to the left or to the right, but the split is connected to one tongue. That's, That's right. right. Showing you even the devil have knowledge of the oneness of God. That's, That's right. right. Until James said, if thou believe there is one God, do you well. do well. The devils believe tremble. and tremble. That's, That's right. right. So the devil know it's one, but he tell you it's three separate distinct persons in the Godhead. That's, That's right. 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 The devil know it's one, but he make you some fool Trinitarian. Amen. Right. But he know it's one. He know it's one. Are you getting the old troublemaker? That's right. Amen. What? Split right. tongue. Split. Deceiver. Amen. Manipulator. Mm -hmm. Con artist. That's right. Double tongue. Double tongue. Double standard. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. Preachers are masters. Hmm. Double are double tongue talking. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. That's they didn't get up and read from the Torah, mm -hmm. read the Bible, mm -hmm. or read from the Quran. Amen. But by the time that double tongue, double standard false prophet is done, mm -hmm. he had interject his own ideology. That's right. right. And his own way of thinking. Amen. And just try to cover it yeah. with the slick usage of scripture. That's Amen. right. Amen. The serpent is working. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. Come on, brother, read quick. Wonderful. These men are the servants of the Most High God, and which show unto us the way of salvation. What did Paul do? Mm -hmm. Not to this woman, mm -hmm. but to what was in this woman. That's right. Listen. And this did she many days. Yes. But Paul being grieved. Hold it. If it was God talking out of this woman, he it wouldn't grieve brother Paul. No right. way. But God wasn't talking out of this woman. This woman was spirit filled with the spirit of divination. That's, That's right. right. Satan was in her. Right. Amen. And she told the truth with a different agenda to antagonize right. the servants of God. That's right. Listen. But Paul being grieved. Paul being grieved. Turned and said to the spirit. Notice. It didn't say he turned and said to the woman. Right. Because it wasn't the woman doing it. That's right. He turned and talked to the spirit to that the was spirit. in the woman. That's right. Why you think folk is so wicked today? There's a spirit. In them. That's Amen. Right. Amen. That's right. A spirit in them that motivates they That's hate right. and they right. dislike yeah. towards God. That's Amen. right. It's the spirit in America Amen. that motivates the government to pass laws to blaspheme against God. That's right. It's the spirit in the
the churches, spirit in the mosque, right. spirit in the synagogue okay. that makes them try to twist. That's right. That's right. That's right. And deviate from the book. That's right. Amen. Anytime you deviate from the book, you're a messenger of hell. That's Amen. Right. Listen. But Paul being grieved. Paul being grieved. Turned and said to the spirit. Turned and said to the spirit. I command I command in the name of Jesus Christ. What, what, what we want the spirit to do? To come out of her. Come out of her. And he came out the same hour. Are you listening? Amen. So yes, television viewer, supernatural experiences are certainly in the book. Amen.